we're having a great year. And I additionally think it's a great year after several great years as vice commander. But in the lead up to becoming commander and being the commander, traveling our state, talking to people, meeting so many squadrons, meeting so many legionnaires, I've had a lot of thoughts. I guess you could put them under the idea of strategy. What's our strategy for the future? Strategy for growth. As we focus on membership, I think that the best way to supercharge membership is to get every squadron trying to be active. We spoke about children and youth. Children and youth are initiatives that are money, fundraising for children and youth. It's a great thing to do because it's good. It's just a great thing to do. Investing money in anything related to childhood, developing young people is good. It's a morally good thing. But it's also an incredibly good thing at the squadron level for making guys feel good about being part of their squadron. It's also great for generating public relations, and good PR with the community, letting people know what we're about. I traded notes, um, we didn't actually speak, we traded emails with our national, uh, exec national committee chairperson for the Children and Youth uh, Committee, with Mr. Waite, who lives in New Hampshire. And he shared with me it's about four pages long. The list of all of the, I believe, 680 some odd thousand dollars was given away last year. Not what was donated, but what was given away. And it went to about 20 different causes, all of which were incredible. A lot of them sort of, you know, obscure little charities that are doing great things that we funded. I'm going to make, in working with the PR committee, I'm going to make that uh, available for distribution to every squadron in New York State. I'm going to ask every squadron via a letter to take that information and share it with their local papers, their local radio stations, their local TV stations in the form of a press release because it's very newsworthy. It's an incredible amount of money being donated to great causes. And then in addition to that, I'm going to be tasking each squadron to do a unique fundraiser, just as Ike had mentioned. This was in part... Um, Ike's idea, we've been talking a bit about children and youth and the coin and what we can do. But if each squadron, individual squadron, did a fundraiser dedicated to the Children and Youth Foundation, we'd be giving over $100,000 a year to that fund. And we'd be right up there with the ranks of Arizona and Indianapolis, Indiana. Those squadrons, well, Arizona in particular, is a fraction of our size and gave over a hundred and I believe twenty thousand dollars to the Child Welfare Foundation last year. So I'd like to see New York not just next year and the year after, but every year going forward, rocking that fund with a six-figure donation. Never mind one dollar per member, five dollars per member, perhaps. And that's easily doable if each squadron would do a good fundraiser. But it won't just be a monetary fundraiser; it'll build spirit within the organization at the squadron level, and it will attract lots and lots of new members. I'm very confident that that would work. So that's something you're going to be hearing about in the next year from me. And I've been starting to do that in my recent visitations. We test Sullivan County doing it. They don't even have a SUNS organization. So I suggest that they just get together a bunch of guys who are eligible. Don't bog them down immediately with, you know, the creation of an organization. Just do an event. Do a big event. Be bold about it. Get it in the paper. And then from there, start your squadrons up. And they seem gung-ho about it. So I'm going to follow up with the guys in Sullivan County and the same in Columbia County. Our only two counties that really don't have any organization. So I've thought a lot about membership, children, youth, and that. I've also thought about the American Legion. The American Legion needs our help growing. I firmly believe that the sons could get out in the community more and recruit, well, maybe recruit's too heavy a word. Just bring young guys in, but bring them in for two reasons. Bring them in to help the American Legion, but bring them in to help them. We know from the VA hospital, something, maybe the worst part of my year is learning that in the high 20s, they said 27 veterans a day are committing suicide. 27 a day. That's appalling. It's just shocking, appalling. I can't imagine a stronger word to use for what that is. It's hard. So what can we do to help that? I think what we can do is twofold. I think we can get those guys and ladies involved in the American Legion to help the American Legion, but to help them. Help them get in. They're around their fellow vets. It's a support system. Maybe we can put a dent in that number. 
right? And I mean, my God, if we could do that, I could think of no better purpose for our organization than for helping young veterans. So with that also, I'd like to throw out an idea. What if next year, for the Midwinter Conference, if every county, 62 counties, if every county sponsored two, let's say, veterans under 40, young guys or girls, to come to this Midwinter Conference, it would change the age, average age of the Legion membership dramatically if we did that. That would be perhaps, you know, 122 people, 124 people. What would it be? Cover their room for a night? $100? $200 per county? It would be easily achievable. If we were to help the Legion identify some young vets in the community, maybe even guys who aren't even yet Legionnaires, but they'd become Legionnaires when they came here, I'm sure of it. But if they brought them to this Midwinter Conference, it would inject an energy into the Midwinter Conference on the Legion side that would be dramatic and incredible, I think. So perhaps that's something to think about. Maybe we can talk about that more tomorrow. It would be a great idea. Something to help the Legion. In doing so, help us, and most importantly, help veterans who, who are very much in need, you know? And bring them into the post. But get out there, guys, bring them into the post. Tell your sons to bring them into the post. If, if the older guys in the room don't know young vets, I'm sure your sons or your grandsons do. And say, hey, get your friend, bring them down the post. We'll be doing good if we do that. Those are just my thoughts to you guys. Um, it has been a great year so far. About 20 counties to go. I'm looking forward to each and every one of them. And uh, spreading those same messages trying to get everybody active, every detachment to be doing something next year, raising money, helping vets, and helping our kids. Um, that's really, I think, you know, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna adjourn in a moment. Uh, I would like to say that uh, as a commander's directive, the uniform for the day tomorrow is a Doc Gibbs shirt, if you have one. And of course, for the, uh, the traveling guests, you know, come casual as you, as you may. So, uh, All right. We'll stand. Right hand salute. Two. Uh, I now declare this detachment executive committee uh, not complete.